Hekora's in serious trouble has Nije. Burkina Faso, Mali makes shocking declaration, plans to do this immediately. <laughs> Nigerians, matter don't change you. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. A military part has been formed among the leaders of Niger Republic, Burkina Faso and Mali who have recently seized power through coups. The foreign ministers of the three countries made the announcement in Niami, the capital of Niger. The agreement allows Mali and Burkina Faso to provide military support to Niger in the event of intervention against the coup leaders. A similar agreement already exists between Burkina Faso and Mali. The formation of this military alliance comes as a response to the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, activating a standby force and threatening to invade Niger if the democratically elected president is not restated restated and constitutional order is not restored. The joint agreement also emphasized the need for the three countries to collaborate in combating terrorist groups within their borders and securing their shared borders. The shared region where these countries are located has long been plotted by the presence of various terrorist militants, some of which has pledged alliance to the Islamic State. Under the leadership of the former president, Mohamed Bazoum, Niger was considered a crucial partner in the fight against Islamist terrorists in the Shehe, closely cooperating with Western allies. President Bola Tinubu, who serves as the chairman of the ECOWAS Authority of Heads of States, expressed his commitment to a peaceful resolution of the situation, despite facing pressure to deploy the use of force against the military junta in Niger. President Tinubu emphasized the importance of pursuing peaceful dialogue. The involvement of religious leaders specifically the Uloma, in engaging with military junta was highlighted as a means, of, a means to facilitate a peaceful resolution, the military part between Niger, Burkina Faso, and Mali marks a significant development in the political landscape of the region. It aims to strengthen cooperation in addressing security threats particularly the presence of terrorist groups, while also demonstrating a unified response to external pressures. The pursuit of a peaceful resolution by ECOWAS and the involvement of key stakeholders, such as religious leaders, highlights the importance of dialogue and negotiation in resolving the political crisis in Niger. In another news headline, the report indicates that the leaders of the recent coup in Niger Republic have given the embassies of Germany and Nigeria two days notice to depart the country in order to comply with their demands. The refusal of the German ambassador in Niamey to respond to an invitation from the ministry for a meeting on Friday and the other actions of the German government, contrary to the interests of Niger, were the reasons provided by the ministry as to why the country requested a German to leave. These were the reasons stated by the foreign minister, a ministry, as to why the nation asked a Germany to leave. After the ambassador allegedly refused to respond to an invitation, for a meeting on Friday, the organizers of the coup are said to have asked for 
for uh, ask for time to be uh, spared. Okay, I can't really get that from their country. Niger News was the first news outlet to report on the information. The military authorities allege that France has influence, influence over the economic community of West African states, ECOWAS, and they accuse France of attempting to use military force to restate Mohamed Bazoum, who was democratically elected president. They say that France is seeking to use military force to restore Mohamed Bazoum. Approximately 1,500 French troops are now stationed in Niger as part of the country's ongoing efforts to aid in the battle against terrorist groups that are active across the Sheher region. Hmm. It is essential to keep in mind that ECOWAS had previously threatened, threatened to invade the nation in the event that the leaders of the military coup failed to give over control in the country to Bazoum, who is now being kept hostage. It is crucial to keep this in mind because it is necessary to keep in mind that ECOWAS had previously threatened to invade the nation. So guys, let's hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section.